All right, Vero Beach today, once again, chalked up a very nice sunset after getting some rain that moved on in. And there you go. I stop it there right at 8 o'clock sunset time. And, uh, boy, really lit up there for you. You got two good ones in a row there, even the, and got the rain, too, for you. We're trying to tropical wave here out uh, in the Bahamas. And this is going to move in over the weekend. Both days look for some high rain chances for us. And we do see uh, we're looking at generally a couple of showers there that are just moving through, just move through the gardens, now moving into West Lake and the acreage down in the Wellington and Royal Palm too. This one may come up towards Belle Glade also, but these two, uh, no lightning strikes right now, even stretching up to the farms there, but this will continue to push westward and we could see a shower or so push in, even seeing one now there. Uh, on the Treasure Coast there near Stewart that'll come ashore and a few offshore. So as we go through the night and off and on quick passing shower, but we don't really get into it uh, until say tomorrow and it starts right away in the morning too. mid to upper 70s for lows tonight, upper 80s for highs tomorrow because of cloud cover and rain. So here's that first surge of moisture from the tropical wave moving in in the morning hours. Maybe a little bit of a break through the day, so not raining the entire time. You just have to keep an eye to the sky. But passing showers from time to time will continue to move on in. And as we get into uh, Sunday, you see this is the morning and you see some showers moving in from the south. This is when the wave is pretty much uh, right on top of us or just passing us. And then we see the winds turn more southeasterly and continue with that moisture feed into our area. So high rain chances here for the weekend. The chance for some flooding will be there too. Then rain chances drop here. We could see a chance for some excessive rainfall that leads to flooding. All right, so we have a, a few tropical waves we're watching. One here, here, and here. Two of them are in vest. One of them with a high chance to develop, but this one we don't even have to worry about because it has a small window to develop, then upper level winds are going to uh, kill that one off. Same with this one too. Upper level winds, once it starts to move farther off into the Atlantic, are not going to be real favorable. We'll keep an eye on this one. A low chance right now. Some of the models bring it through the Caribbean. Some pull it up north of Puerto Rico. So something to watch at the moment, but nothing in the in the short term, that's for sure. The two that are in vest at the moment, you see this one pulls up to the north, and this one also gets yanked up to the north. It may interact with that other one too. This one is the travel wave actually that's moving over us, but then after that, conditions are a little bit more favorable. And this right here, this is Hillary, a major hurricane, 130 mile per hour winds. It's gonna hit the Baja of California here, but Travel storm watches up, or now travel storm warnings up here, right here for Southern California, for LA and San Diego. Very rare uh, for some of that, but we'll, they'll get a lot of moisture from it. Beach and boating forecast getting choppier through the weekend, and even most of next week will be choppy with a stronger onshore winds. 80s with rain over the weekend, drier next week, but breezy.